I worked with a woman in her mid-30s living in a very rural city in her state. Her ex-partner and abuser had attempted to kill her multiple times. I provided her with some caring validation, empathy, and various national organizations and resources to help support her. While these resources didn't solve all her problems, she felt that she had some concrete next steps to act on, which was incredibly beneficial for her mental health and her physical safety. I'm definitely not going to quit now. Thank you. You've helped me through it, one of the worst times of my life. I was able to use our Spanish chat service to assist a middle-aged, undocumented woman married to a U.S. citizen who wouldn't fix her papers. She experienced sexual, financial, and emotional abuse from her husband. I was able to connect her with local resources to talk to a legal advocate regarding VAWA and educate her about intimate partner violence. Prior to reaching out to us, she did not think that she had resources due to her immigration status because her partner would threaten to deport her to Mexico if she didn't like the way that he was treating her. Her response after speaking to me was, thank you very much, you are all angels. You have given me hope to live. I thank God for putting you in my path. A 40-year-old man reached out to talk about the abuse he has been experiencing at the hands of his partner and to find some help. He regularly is verbally and physically abused, threatened, and isolated. He felt confident about the next step he would take and said, I thank you so much. You don't know how great it was just to share what's going on with someone for the first time. It's a weight lifted off my shoulders. I talked to a woman in her mid-twenties. She's scared of her boyfriend and was not sure if she was being abused. When she would try to end things, he would use good behavior for some time. The chatter was not ready to leave the relationship, however. We discussed emotional safety planning and self-care methods for her to use while she stayed in the relationship because she felt like she could not talk to her family and friends without them being judgmental. She said, this was incredibly helpful. Thank you for helping me think with a clear head in the midst of all that I was feeling.